Hello world. A few months ago, I started a project building these lights that you see behind me uh, to take with me to parties as uh, I'm a hobbyist DJ. Um, and I was asked quite a few times as to how I built them. So I thought this would be a great time to explain some of that. So here we go. So we'll start off with the controller. I'm using a Pixlite 16 Mark II by Advaytech. I picked this one because um, it has uh, 16 different outs and I think that can handle up to 16,000 LEDs and I'm using roughly a thousand right now as well as four DMX universes so I can actually add traditional lights to my setup. Um, it also can um, switch between 5 volt or 12 volt so I'm using 5 volt LEDs um, and that makes it really nice to be able to have choices like that. I'm powering it with this uh, Meanwell 200 watt 5 volt power supply. Um, it's definitely overpowered for what I need but in case I want to expand uh, I have all of that there. Um, so essentially what's happening is I have power, data, and ground coming out of each of these um, going to through this cable and attaching right here um, and that's heat trunk so you can't really see that that goes all the way up it goes into the tube comes out through this hole goes all the way down same thing right here focus please there we go and then goes all the way back up where I am injecting power back into the top so I get nice, clean, even power across all 200 something lights that are on each pole. Each pole is made out of just simple black five foot PVC pipe uh, that is mounted into this flange and then thrown into um, these stacked two by sixes. I just picked two by six boards because it was wide enough for my auxiliary power supplies to fit on top of. So speaking of auxiliary power supplies, um, even though they're not quite necessary yet, I just got them to take stress off of the entire system. Uh, these are only um, 100 watt, I think they are. And so I have the auxiliary power supplies um, hitting the, the very end of the string um, to add more power in it. Uh, I tried injecting power in the middle and uh, if somebody can explain to me why it did not work, my wires just started melting, uh, which was really strange. So, I don't know, hopefully somebody can answer that question for me. But injecting them at the ends, injecting power at the ends definitely worked just fine. So, and I cannot get this to focus. The LEDs themselves are just cheap addressable WS2812Bs I got off of Amazon from a brand called Chinley. I'll link to it in the, uh, in the description. Uh, they are definitely brighter than the other ones that I tested, so I would recommend them. I've had no problems with them so far. The software that I'm using is called Light Jams, and the way you control the pixels is a little bit different than you would from most of the other pixel mapping softwares. Um, I'll let you do your own research on that, but the reason why I picked it is specifically because of the Pixlite 16. Um, it can only control the pixels and use DMX simultaneously when it's on, uh, when it's receiving SACN signals. Uh, it cannot use the DMX if you're controlling the pixels with ArtNet, um, and Light Jams uses both. SACN and ArtNet, which is perfect for me. So I picked it up and I couldn't be more satisfied. The developer's name is Matthew and he's a great guy. Uh, he's willing and able to answer all questions that anybody might have about the software. So 
I can recommend it even if it's a little bit different than anything else you might be using. <laughs>